All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, so this morning I woke up, man. And, uh, you know, I looked at this fight again. And, you know, I started doing some research on um, Ben Matlock. And I started thinking, since when the hell does a WBC allow Ben Matlock to referee a fight? Now, for some of you younger cats, y'all probably don't know who Ben Matlock is. But if you're 35 and older, you probably do know who Ben Matlock is. Uh, that's neither here nor there, man. I watched this fight again, and then I actually woke up and I did some research on Jack Reese. And, uh, you know, what I saw, you know, my mouth kind of fell open, man. I was like, dang. You know what? In all of Jack Reese's fights that he's refereed, Jack Reese has never allowed a fighter, man, to walk it off. And what I mean by walk it off, man, he allowed, like, he allowed Tyson Fury two times in this fight to get up. But not only, like, come to him, he let Tyson Fury walk, like, you know, like halfway across the ring and then come back to him. Like, he told Tyson Fury, hey, go over there and come back. Go over there and come back. And I'm like, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I started looking at other fights that he's refereed. I've never seen him do that. Jack Reese has always told the fighter, okay, all right, you up? Come to me. Come to me. Can you continue? He gave Tyson Fury a lot of time to recover, man. After the first knockdown, I'm like, yo, 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 that's that's weird, man. That's weird, man. That's that's strange, man. Very strange. like, And I've never really seen a referee do that. I haven't, okay? Maybe some of you have seen a referee do I've never seen that. And um, and I found it weird, too. I didn't think much about it when the fight was going on. But I saw Jack Reese dapping up uh, Tyson Fury. You know, like giving him some dap. And I'm like, wait a minute, man. Are these two friends? Because, I mean, he was dapping Tyson up. And I said, well, maybe he just really respect Tyson Fury. You know, maybe that's what it is because he didn't go over there and dap up Deontay Wilder. He didn't do that. But he dapped up Tyson Fury. So I'm like, yo, man, these two, they, 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 these two must be friends. These two must be real, real good friends. Or they know each other behind the scenes. I don't know what the hell it was, man. I don't know what that was about. But, you know, I kind of started thinking to myself, yo, man, what's up with this referee, man? What's really up with this ref? And then in the 12th round, okay, so I went back and I watched the fight that uh, Jack Reese refereed, man. And he, he refereed another Deontay Wilder fight. Uh, he refereed uh, Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina. Now, I found this interesting, man. I think when Wilder knocked, uh, knocked Molina down for like the second time or the third time, Jack Reese, he didn't give Eric Molina, you know, he just waved it off. And Eric Molina actually was starting to get up. But he waved it off, man. While Molina was actually, you know, he looked up and he was he was lifting his head up off the canvas. Jack Reese waved it off. He did it immediately, man. But see, when Tyson Fury, you can look, man. Molina and Fury, they both laid out, man. Tyson Fury is out. In this photograph, he's out, okay? There, there's no way that this guy's even conscious. Jack Reese didn't wave it off, man. Now, we can argue and we can say that, you know, Jack Reese was probably giving Tyson time because this is a big title shot. It's a huge fight. And it was much bigger than the fight when he fought Molina. Okay, I can I can understand that argument. But you know what, man? I'm looking at what condition Tyson Fury was in. I'm like, yo, this dude's out cold, man. Jack Reese started to count. Like, he started to count. So, you know, you got to look at this, man. He had already given Tyson Fury some time to recover. And then when Fury actually got up, man, the count, Fury didn't beat the count, man. He didn't beat that count, man. Jack Reese, man, I'm telling you, man, he on some old shady stuff. And then he let Fury get up. And instead of telling Fury, hey, come to me, he told Fury to walk over there and come back. I'm like, what? Hold on, man. Hold on. I've never seen a referee actually do that. Walk over there and come back. Jack Reese did it again. I said, nah, man. It's something up with this referee. Now, I'm not finna take away from Tyson Fury's performance, man. He went in here. He schooled Wilder. I'm talking about he schooled him, man. He took him to boxing school. But, you know, in my eyes, the two knockdowns weighed heavy. I already, I gave Wilder two rounds already. And when you have a knockdown, that's a 10-8 round. So you got two 10-8 rounds, and then you got two rounds, two 10-9 uh, rounds. Well, that's a total of six rounds. I had it a draw. And when I watched the fight a second time, at first I was going back and forth between Fury winning 7-5. and five, And then between the fight being a draw 6-6. Six to six. But I, I just, I don't know. I, I got the fight a draw. Now, if you tell me you thought Tyson Fury won, then, okay, I'm not going to argue with anybody, okay? I'm not going to argue, hey, that's your opinion. I respect it, okay? But, you know, I know what I saw, man. This referee is very, very shady, man. He's extremely shady. And then, you know what, man? Don't tell me, man, that, you know, this guy, he was doing that to check. He was doing multiple checking points to see if Fury could get up.
Because look, what checking point do you need, man? This guy was out, man. This guy was out. And also, when he hovered over Fury, you know, it took him, you know, he got over, he started hovering over Fury. And it was like he was giving Fury that extra time, man, to recover, man. And he counted slow enough to where Fury could get up, but Fury didn't beat the count, man. He didn't beat the count. And, you know, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. I think, <laughs> gosh, man. I think Wilder had a knockout in this fight, and this guy took the knockout away. That's what I think. I think Tyson Fury was legitimately out, y'all. But you know what, man? Wilder got to work, man. Because you're not going to fight a guy like Tyson Fury. You're not going to throw these looping right hands, and you're not going to defeat a guy like Fury. It's just not going to happen. He's too good. Tyson Fury is too damn good. You are not, man. You're not. You're not going to beat a guy like Fury throwing these looping right hands. I felt like Wilder was just trying to, you know, he was just trying to take the fight, man. I felt like he was trying to just take the fight with one punch, man. Instead of trying to set this stuff up, man, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't set anything up. He would do none of that, man. He was just relying on a looping right hand. And, you know, at points in fight, and points in the fight when Wilder was throwing a straight right hand, he set up with the left jab and throw the straight right. He was effective. But Tyson Fury is on another level, man. And, and boxing-wise, he's levels above Deontay Wilder. The thing with Wilder is Wilder has an instinct, man. Wilder has an instinct. And he's a fighter. Instinctively, he is. He may not have all the tools and the skills to beat a Tyson Fury, but he got the instincts to knock out a Tyson Fury. If you guys know what I mean, okay? He's got a, he's in, He can instinctively knock out Tyson Fury. Okay, and I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. Instinctively, this guy's a fighter. He's a fighter. He knows how to go in there and just do it when it counts. But I think Wilder, I, I thought that Jack Reese took a knockout from Deontay Wilder. I, I thought he did. Because there was no way, man. And Tyson Fury, for the first six, seven seconds, he wasn't even aware of what was going on, man. Then he just woke up, man. He woke up. But, you know, I rolled with Wilder hard. And, um... I rocks with Deontay Wilder, but man, Deontay Wilder got outboxed, bro. Deontay Wilder got outboxed. And, you know, unfortunately, man, for Tyson Fury, Wilder does have an equalizer in his right hand, man. It, that's, it, it just is. It is what it is, you know? Wilder got that equalizer. And, unfortunately, you can't avoid that equalizer for 12 rounds. You can't avoid it. Not even a great Tyson Fury could avoid that equalizer, okay? But I think this referee, though, you know, and, and honestly, this guy's very shady, man. Very, very shady. And I wonder, man. So I looked at five different fights, man. And when a guy's been knocked down, I've seen Jack Reese in five fights where the person was knocked down. Jack Reese run over there, and he immediately waved the fight off. Huh. I wonder why here, man. And guys, I'm just, I'm just letting this stuff circulate through my mind. I'm letting it circulate through my mind. Like, like that's what I'm doing. But you guys tell me what you think, man. You guys tell me what you think. Okay? This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison, guys. I'm done. Subscribe.